Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to copy your Excel worksheet to another sheet. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So in this tutorial, we have our worksheet right here, and we even have a sum function as well. So just to give you guys an idea that we are going to be including those in this process as well. So it's not just going to be pasting values, it will include formulas as well. And you could also just do a clear text paste as well. So if you just want to just copy whatever's listed here as the value and just paste it over, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. So in order to first begin, we're going to open up another worksheet that we want to paste our information into. So I'm going to open up a blank workbook here. I'm going to have it over here on the right. And let's say the information here on the left is what we want to transpose over here or paste over. So I'm going to go up to the top left corner of this sheet in between the A and the 1. I'm going to left on the downward arrow or diagonal arrow one time. It should highlight the worksheet. You want to right click on this arrow again. Left click on copy. Now you want to go up to the top arrow of the new worksheet here. You want to right click on the arrow. And now you have different options. So if you just select paste, you're going to include formulas. So if I just paste it right here, you see if I go over to 2 here, it's a sum function. And instead, let's say we want to just paste the numbers or values. So if I select the values instead, you see it only shows this too. So it doesn't transfer over the formula. So that's basically the two things you guys might be looking for in this tutorial. I just want to show it to you. The problem is if you transpose formulas over or formula-driven numbers, you might get some error messages. So it's important if you're going to be doing any cross-referencing, you take care of that issue. For most people, just pasting as plain text is usually the answer. So I wanted to put a couple different things out there for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope this tutorial was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.